Let's talk about cells. We've already covered them pretty well, but now it's time to dig deeper. First, let me show you a quick way to switch between them. With a cell selected, hit either the up, down, left, or right keys on your keyboard to go between them. You may have been wondering what these red and yellow buttons do. These are the solo and mute buttons, and there's one on each cell, as well as one on each row and column. Toggle on this hi-hat for example. In this case, it also makes sense to solo the open hi-hat sound as well. And if I want to hear the kit, but without the snare, just toggle the mute button on the snare cell. As I mentioned before, rows and cells can also be muted or soloed. It's handy that my kick and snare are on a different row than my hi-hats. I can solo either group. I've also got this ride and my kick drum on the same column. Soloing the column lets me hear just these. Another way to organize cells is to color code and name all of them. All of the included drum kits that come with Battery 3 have some kind of color scheme and a descriptive name. But here's how you can customize these settings. Let's say I wanted to change the color of these snare cells to make them stand out better. Right click on any of them and then choose a color. Ten colors are available to choose from. I'm going to choose orange. There, that's better. Stay tuned for the second half of our closer look at cells.